Good morning, everybody. There's my little warm fire that I'm making in the middle of the city. And unfortunately, one of the neighbors called the fire department on me for that. Of course, they show up and they the first guy turns the car. I heard the vehicle, right? I heard the, the engine, but I couldn't see it, right? And of course, one of the younger guys turns the corner and sees it. And he's like, yeah, you can tell he's already like, why are we even here, right? So he runs back to the other guys and lets them know what's going on. And so I guess the head guy comes over and he's like, yeah, I was like, Am I, is everything okay? He's like, yeah. He goes, he goes, it's in a fire pit and it's you're just burning firewood. And it's for your warden, right? And I'm like, yeah, just trying to stay warm. He's like, okay. He's like, I'm not really thrilled about the back next to your vehicle, but I'm like, I'll stop you. Have a nice day. And I'm like, okay, you too. Sorry you had to come out. So somebody got perturbed that I had a fire going, even though it's controlled inside my little thing and it's keeping me warm. But I don't know. All my drinks and stuff in the way. So the video I was gonna do funny, I was last night I was thinking about that. There's like crows going off this camera. But I was gonna I was thinking about two videos I wanna do today. One video was about my sister. I was gonna do a part two because when I was hanging out with her I was getting some more stories from her and it just cracked me up so I'm gonna do another video of my Amazon warrior sister, Deanna. And then I want to do a video on about happiness. Just about happiness. Being happy. Apparently somebody called because they're not happy. If you're pissed off because somebody having a fire pit and they're just trying to stay warm, that's a problem for you, then yeah, that's not happiness. And I can understand. I'm not like, you know, trying to barge into some place and, you know, act like I own it, but, you know, and I, trust me, when I'm out in BLM and I'm out in the middle of nowhere and some guy pulls in around close to me and I get kind of, you know what I mean? Because I'm like, I want my privacy and I understand that. In this city, it's hard to have privacy, especially when you're surrounded by people and everybody's so agitated. Trust me, everybody in the city is agitated. They say they're not agitated, they're agitated. Everybody's really wound up a little tight. That's why I really like being alone in my little you know, solitude in the woods or desert or ocean, whatever. So happiness, are you happy? Nine times out of 10, it's, I mean, you're not grinning like an idiot all the time, but are you really happy? I mean, just wake up in the morning happy. Not really, you know what I mean? Because other than that, you're miserable. I mean, there's only two ways about you. They're happy when you wake up, excited to, you know, face the world. And, See what happens, or you're just like, son of a bitch, I'm still alive. <laughs> I've been there. I haven't always been so cheery. I remember, uh, yeah, I remember my self destructive phase where I would, yeah, I would be pissed when I wake up. Angry at the world because I'm still here. Yeah, that was a long time ago. And I've gotten over that. I'm very blessed to be here. <clears throat> and I'm very happy with whatever I have, even if it's just living in my vehicle and traveling and selling my art and talk about you know, slim pickings, right? Especially when you're an artist, man. Starving artist is definitely not just something they throw around. It's a true, unless you're Biden's baby. That's such a joke. I don't even go there. As a true artist who's spent like decades suffering for my art, yeah, and then somebody just can buy a print for 500,000. No corruption there, but I digress. This is about happiness. And this is about your happiness. I'm cool. I mean, I could always be happier. I could always get some more loving and huggings. And speaking of, I'm really having fun with my granddaughter. She's so adorable. Oh my God. She was a little bossy, but at the same time, I'm just like, you know, just mold, whatever you want, kid. I'm just happy to be with you. I was getting hugs and kisses. I'm like, are you my best friend? Am I, am I your new best friend? She's all, mm hmm. Yeah, I was like, oh my God. Number one, kid. I know my my grandson, Alex, is, I love him, but I tell you what, he's, he, he's a close second. She's so awesome. I love her. She's the healer of my heart. I came up here the first time I came up here to see the um hang out with my grandson. She was conceived like a month after I showed up. She was raised. She's like, Grandpa's here, I'm coming. So yeah, that's my road dog. We're gonna have fun. She grows up. I have a feeling I'm gonna be bailing her out of jail a couple times. I'm just saying, she's gonna be a spitfire. She's a fire pony. She's 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 a what, um Sagittarius. Yeah, she's a fire sign. She likes fire. 
funny because my my daughter-in-law was telling me about how when, when Alex first saw um, fireworks, he was crying. When when Lily first saw fireworks, I was there. She was just like lit up. She was like, yeah, this is cool. Oh, yeah. She's going to be fun. Anyway, that's happiness. That's a form of happiness is family, ones that love you unconditionally. <sighs> but I want you to be happy. I want you to find your happiness. If you're not happy, find a way to make yourself happy. Find things that make you happy. You know, I'm telling you, start with loving yourself. I mean, that's just that's, that's 101. You can't build a foundation. You can't build a house, a castle, if your foundation's cracked up and all messed up and wonky. You gotta smooth that stuff out and get it right, baby. That's your soul. That's your love for yourself. It's the foundation for everything you will ever do. That's why you get these kids coming out of college with these freaking degrees, and then they go and they just destroy themselves with alcohol and drugs and, and bad sex, and because they're, they're not even healed before they even get educated about life. You know, the, the personal stuff, inner traumas. It's terrible. Everybody's in a hurry. The rat race, right? Anyway, I want you to focus on you. I want you to focus on your happiness. Just think of happy thoughts. Be happy. Happy, happy, happy. Even if you have to listen to that song, don't worry. Be happy by whatever that guy's name is. You know what I'm talking about. It's a cool song. Anyway, I love you. God loves you. The universe really wants you to loosen that sphincter, babe. Just relax a little bit. It's going to be okay. Have a wonderful day. Okay, bye.